problem 20 page 284. Here uh, we have two blocks M1 and M2 are free to slide along the frictionless wooden track ABC. So between A and C, we don't have friction. And mu equals to O. So we can say directly we have a conservation of mechanical energy, okay? At any position here, we have mechanical initial equals to mechanical final directly because we have an isolated system, okay? Anyway, in this chapter, we are working with an isolated system. Okay. Uh, we have M1, let's say we have M1 equals to five kilogram is released from A. Is released, it means V initial equals to O. V at the position A equals to O. Okay, here uh, we have a magnet. Let me take a simple example. It's a, no it's a normal, uh, uh, object M1 and M2. M1 will uh, go down and we get a collision between M1 and M2. Okay, here we have a sample uh, object from here. Here we have a collision. First of all, M1 has zero velocity, M2 has zero velocity. M1 is released at this point. Okay, we get a velocity. At this point, we have a collision. Okay, M1 will go back to, to this height and M2 will continue to the right. Okay, now I want to find, uh, calculate the maximum height to which M1 rises after the elastic collision. So here we have elastic collision. I have to find the maximum height after the collision. So we can say here, I need to calculate its height here. Okay, it's simply, we have a collision, before collision and after collision. Okay. Uh, before going to the uh, solution, let me explain the situation. First of all, we have no interaction, no friction, on the track. In this case, we have a conservation of mechanical energy. E mechanical initial equals to E mechanical final for any configuration of M1 and M2. This is the first point. The second point, you know M1 and M2 are not connected. We don't have a cord between them. We don't have a spring between them, so we can take a system of only one object, M1 or M2. Also, we can take a system of two objects, but here it depends our um, target. Okay, uh, I want to calculate the height of M1 after the collision. So let me speak uh, quickly. First of all, we have M1 at this point, if we take a system of M1, only M1, and we apply the mechanical energy between this point and this point just before the collision, okay? So initially here, we don't have kinetic, but we have a potential equal to M1 GH, H equals to five, okay? I take here the reference at this point. Okay, at the final, uh, uh, situation here, just before, we have uh, a velocity equals half mv1 square, and we don't have height, so the potential equals to zero. So we can take between here and here, we can calculate directly the velocity of m1 just before the collision. Okay, finish. Two, uh, we have a collision. We can apply the equations of elastic collision before collision and after collision. We have, we have V1 initial before collision and we can calculate uh, V of M1 after collision. 
by using the equations of the collisions. Okay, we can calculate uh, the velocity of M1 after the collision. M1 will move to the left and M2 will move to the right. We can calculate V1, V prime one, and we can use the mechanical energy between this position and this position. We don't have, we have the uh, kinetic energy at this point. So we can calculate easily the height of M2 after the collision. Okay, let's start. So initially at this point, I take a system of M1. So only M1, because we can take it. At M1, at this point, we don't have kinetic energy. So kinetic energy initial. So I take M1 between position A and position B. Position B, you have to say just before collision. Okay, just before collision. Because we have position B just after collision and position B just before collision. So, uh, so as a po position A, we don't have kinetic equals to O, but we have potential. So this one is the initial and this one is the final. Uh, okay, we don't, uh, uh, we have potential equals to M1 G times five, finish. Okay, final position when M1 is at B just before collision. What we have? We have a kinetic energy final equals to M1 over two times V1 at the position B just before collision square. Okay, at the lowest point, we don't have potential energy equals to O, finish. So we can calculate here, mechanical energy initial equals to mechanical energy final. We can put the values here. We get M1 G times five equals to M1 over two V1 B square. We can calculate here uh, V1, we can eliminate M1 and M1. Uh, V1 B, it will be about 10 M per second. Okay, this is V1 B. Now I want to take a system uh, between just before collision and just after collision, okay? Just before collision, we have M1 with V1 at the position B. Uh, okay, let me explain clearly. Okay, just before collision, we have this situation. Here we have um, V1 at the position B, and we have M2 with V equals to O. As you see, we don't have before collision. Okay, just after, okay, uh, just after collision, we have this block with move to the left with V1 B prime to the left. And we have this one will move to the right with V2 as the position B prime. Okay, this one is This one is V2 at the position B before collision. Okay, you know, uh, uh, in the given, we have an elastic collision. So 
uh, we can apply the equations. We can use the equations of the elastic collision directly. You know, in the case of uh, elastic collision. We have uh, P just before equals to P just after. We have kinetic just before equals to kinetic just after, okay? And here we can uh, write directly the equations. You know, we have three equations. Let me write the equations here to remember these equations. I do stop. Okay, here we have Okay, here we have uh, the three equations of the elastic collision. Uh, first one, I cannot use it because I don't have V1 final. I don't have V2 final. So we get one equation with two unknowns. So it's possible to, it's impossible to use it. Okay, now I need, in general, I need V final of the block one. So we can take this one, okay? I don't need to talk about uh, V2. I need only for the block one. Okay, let's, ta let's take this one. So uh, I want uh, uh, V1 final, what I mean? I mean V1 after the collision. So it's V1 B, prime so v1 final it's v1 b prime we can say like this okay uh, equals to uh oh, excuse me here initial and initial we have v1 initial and initial okay you know initially it means before collision before collision, we have V1B, okay? So we have V1B before collision. Good. And before collision, we don't have a velocity of V2B. So we can eliminate this one. So we get finally V prime 1B equals to m1 equals to 5 m2 equals to 10 m1 plus m2 equals to 15 times v1b uh, v1b equals to 10 so we get finally v about 10 we get finally v prime b it will be it will be about, okay, minus 3.3 M per second. Okay, sure, we have a negative value because V prime, the block M1 is moving to the left after the collision. This is the value of V prime B. Okay, now we have V prime B, so we can apply the conservation of mechanical energy on M1 between this point just after collision and this point here, okay? And you know, after collision, M2 will move to the right. I don't care about M2. 
I take just M1. Okay, so let me write, uh, let me clean before. So uh, now we take a system between just after collision at this point and this point. Okay, so we have to write, uh, we take only system one uh, between just after collision and let's say this one's a point C, the point C where the object has a height H. I want to calculate it. Okay, so between uh, just after collision and the point C, uh, we have mechanical energy initial equals to mechanical energy final. Uh, just after collision, okay, I don't take this block. I don't take this one. This one is moving to the right, okay? It's only this one between this point where we have the kinetic at this point of this block. Will be uh, M1 divided by two of V one B prime square. The object is moving to the left with V one B prime. Plus we don't have potential at this point equals the final position here. We don't have velocity because it's a maximum position where V at this point equals to O. We don't have kinetic, but we have a potential M1 G times H. We calculate H, okay? We can eliminate M1 and M1 and H equals to uh, V prime 1B square divided by two g equals to uh, three point three square divided by two times okay we can say 9.8 because this this value is 9.8 uh, we get the final answer it will be 0.556 meter. This is the value of H. Okay, uh, thank you.